Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for October 24th, 2021. The character of the Watcher and the mod farts are all-star, start with five colorless cards. Vintage, normal enemies drop relics instead of cards. And deadly events, question mark rooms can now contain leads, but are also more likely to contain treasure room. I see Vorpal and Cobalt here, very close together, 1428 and 1426 respectively, not bad scores. Before I continue, let me review my score from yesterday. Uh, yeah, Vorpal ended up being ninth place, he left a comment, really good run. I should have gone for the collective bonus. I was hesitant with it, but it looks like a lot of people commented that they had much more success with the collective bonus than I did without one. So yeah, a lot of paper towel, Cobalt here, 12, 6, 71, 69. All right, pretty good run. Yeah, I did not do that well yesterday. Anyway, let's move on. Actually, hang on. Let me see where I stand. I wasn't able to perfect the last boss. Okay, 95th, still made it to the top uh, top 100. That's not bad. All right, moving on to today's run. Okay, so all-star vintage and deadly events. Obviously, maximizing question mark rooms. It's going to be important. So let's strike Flash of Steel, Impatience, the Bob, and, and actually two Impatiences. I'll probably, hang on. Will I? Yeah, I'll definitely have to remove one of those, right? Because I have vintage. One of the impatience, but actually this is pretty good, right? Because these are zero cards cards and the impatience allows me to draw more. And the bomb might be some good damage. Yeah, I think this this might be a fun run then. Alright, so one, two, three. There's a three lead path with one, two, three, four, five question marks. That's not bad. Yeah. Um actually it's only either the three lead path or the one lead path, so I'm not even gonna think about an alternative path there. All right, I could just do the bomb here, right? That'll make my life easier. Let's just do that, and then two turns, I don't have to deal with these guys anymore. So here, I do have to defend if I can. Um, actually, wait, can I kill here? Not really. Let's do defend and wait. I'll take a little bit of damage. Who's my final boss, by the way? Hexagos. Okay, so I do need to take some damage. Um, when... Ooh, this is going to be tough. So I have to start de uh, losing HP here. In case I'm able to perfect the boss, that's that's gonna be tough, but we'll get there. All right, we got white Be white beast statue potions always appear in combat rewards. That's really good. Might allow me to set up some nice potions there. All right, here uh, might be a little too soon for a curse. Yeah, fine. Curse would have been nice, but it's hard to tell if I'll be able to get enough curses. And having a curse early on would have been a pretty big clutch there. All right, let's double strike, then impatience, uh, as well as swift strike. Do I want to do the bomb? Might as well. Okay. Six incoming, flash of steel, double defend. Okay. And then at the end of this turn, I'll deal 40 damage, right? Good. Okay, fossilized helix, prevent the first time you you would lose HP each combat. That's really good. That's, that's a huge thing to have this early on. Remove transform upgrade. I could transform the impatience, but it would give me a colorless card, right? I'm thinking of upgrading the bomb or the eruption for that matter. Oh, this is tough. I, I, I'm likely to hit a shop though, so I'll be able to remove the extra impatience. I won't be able to upgrade something. So yeah, let's upgrade the bomb. Okay. All right, this will help against the sentries, against Lagavulin. Um, okay, hang on. Won't help me here. Uh, although I do have the buffer, right? Yeah, so let's just do Swift Strike kills this guy. Let's just do Eruption, Swift Strike, and then Strike, and then I should be able to kill with any attack card next turn. Okay. All right, got Pendip. Okay, this time I'm going to try to use it. Yesterday I sort of failed on that. We got every 10th attack you play deals double damage. Well, particularly for bosses, I should try to trigger it. Okay, so 9 incoming. I would like to keep the the buffer as much as possible. I could also just lose it and go for Eruption Strike, but that seems a little too dangerous. So let's just start with Vigilance Defend. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, 18 incoming. I don't have a chance of perfecting anything here, right? So I'm thinking of Liquid Memorizing something. Actually, it would have to be either the Vigilance or I'll just use lose my buffer here. But I think it's fine to have that be the Vigilance. So let's do Swift Strike. Okay, then defend, defend, and then I'll get the um, Vigilance back. Okay, so that way I'm fully defended, and I still have my buffer. All right. Okay. All right. So here, I definitely have to do the bomb. Then I have to draw a defensive card. Well, a defend, really. 
Sorry about that. Okay, I'm still going to try to fish for a defend by doing strike and impatience. Okay, perfect. And now I can use the bottled miracle to play the defend. The two defense, okay? And uh, at the end of two turns. Okay, next turn I still have to come up with uh, at least nine block. Um, oh, this is tough. This is tough. Uh, let's do strike impatience. Okay, okay, this works, right? Vigilance, miracle, defend. And then at the end of next turn, everybody dies. Okay, that was actually, that was really close. Got lucky and had to use both my potions, but was able to perfect this one. Good. Got Ancient Tea Set. Whenever you enter a rest site, start ninth comma with two extra energy. A smoke bomb, which I probably won't need. Third eye, tranquility, or foresight. Foresight is interesting if I pick up more, more curses, but I think at this point, ideally, I will pick up another attack. But absent an attack, um... Yeah, honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe Foresight, maybe Tranquility. Let's go with the Foresight. Why not? Okay. All right. So everyone is attacking me here. Uh, I don't think I can kill anybody, right? Uh, let's just do... Uh, well, if I draw another Strike, I can get, at least kill this guy. Uh, Flash of Steel gives me... Okay, fine. So then I'll... Uh, double Defending doesn't make sense either. Fine. Yeah, I'll keep the Miracle, because if I played the other defend, I was going to lose my buffer either way, right? So, let's take damage. I do have to lose damage for the boss fight anyway, right? So, I probably shouldn't be too worried about that. Uh, let's do Strike, and then Double Damage, Swift Strike to kill. Good. Okay. And then 15 seems very doable. I'll, uh, I'll just get the attacks. Ideally, here, let's do Flash of Steel, and Double Strike. Okay, good. All right, got Shovel. You can now dig for relics at rest sites. Really nice, as well as a power potion. Okay. Oh, uh, perfect, the shop. Do I want tiny chest? Every fourth question mark room is a treasure room. Um, no, no, I have enough relics. I don't think I need more relics. Talk to the end is great. Meditate is fine. Let's definitely, yeah, I think I should focus on cards. Let's take talk to the hand. I'm thinking meditate, and then, yeah, if I take that, I will be able to afford anything. Uh, let me remove, I have the gold, so let's remove the uh, duplicate impatience. Okay. All right, here I got Mango. Up and pick up Bracer Max HP by 14. That's nice. I do need to get to 102, ideally. All right, so here I... Perfect. I can play the bomb and it will trigger just at the right turn. I don't think I need Vigilance here. Okay. And then I would love to enter Wrath. Um, if I enter it now, is it a little too soon? Yeah, I would like to do Foresight still. But I might draw the Meditate. Well, okay, that's fine. I think I'll just do Talk to the Hand then and wait. Okay. Because I might draw Meditate and get the uh, the Eruption back that way. All right. Let's do Foresight, Flash of Steel. Oh, come on. Is the Meditate at the bottom? Of course it is. Uh, all right. In that case, I mean, I might as well wake him, right? Let's do Swift Strike, Regular Strike, Impatience. And then, yeah, I can't really do anything. Well, I might as well enter Calm. Why not? Okay. All right. Yeah, this is perfect. I do want to enter Wrath. So let's do Eruption, Double Strike, Double Damage Strike 2. Awesome. So I just need... Perfect. All right, perfect this one. We got Bag of Probation. That's really good. At the start of each combat, draw two additional cards, as well as a Bottled Miracle. And yeah, no good attack. Let me get rid of this. Uh, do I want to Worship? I do have a Meditate, so that might allow me to enter Divinity and, and you know, potentially deal more than 100 damage. Windmill Strike, I think, will take a little too long. Let's take the Worship, sure. And then I don't think I need to rest out, although I could dig, but no, I think... Well, does it matter? Doesn't really matter, right? Uh, yeah, let's do a regular fight. That will give me um, that will give me no relic. And I do think I have a high chance of perfecting this one, right? So let's make sure that I lose HP. I do want to drop down to 23, right? Ideally, let's do that. Uh, this is actually the perfect fight. So I think I'll just take take a bunch of damage here. Um, let me kill. Well. No, let's just take a bunch of damage. Uh, I do want to deal damage to everyone else, though, just a little bit. So I can easily kill when I have to. Mm -hmm. 23, right? It might be hard to time it to be exactly 23, but I'll hopefully be able to get close. Okay. Might as well do meditate and, uh, yep. Mm -hmm. All right, I think I'll speed this up. I'll be right back when I'm at 23. Alright, I end up at 21. Good enough. 
Okay, we've got Molten Egg. Whenever we add an attack into your deck, upgrade it, as well as an Explosive Potion. Yeah, I'm sort of hoping for a Weakness Potion or something else for the Hexagos fight. All right, here I don't have to lose HP, so let's not aim to do that. Let's do Talk to the End, Flash of Steel. And then I could do, well, let's just do Double Strike. I was thinking of maybe doing Worship, but there's no strong reason to do it. Um, yeah, I don't think there is. Uh, let's do... Yeah, let's get the Flash of Steel and the next turn. If I have the Eruption, I'll be able to kill fairly easily. I did not get the Eruption, so instead let's do Flash of Steel, Swift Strike, and then Vigilance and Foresight, and then should be able to kill easily next turn. Um, let's get rid of everything that's not an Eruption. Oh, of course it has to be at the bottom. Okay. All right, Giria, you can now gain Strength of Reset up to three times, as well as a Fear in the Bottle, which I don't think I'll need. Yeah, I think I should be fine without it. Ooh, actually, maybe I should have taken it because I might die at the next elite if I if I don't get super lucky. Uh, that was that was that's definitely a risk. Okay, hang on. Uh, Doesn't make sense to enter Wrath here. I do have the Flash of Steel, right? Um, so let's do Eruption, Swift Strike kills this guy, and then Flash of Steel, uh, regular Strike, and um, I guess I can do Talk to the End and should be able to kill next turn. Mm -hmm. All right, we got a Recalcum. If you enter your turn without block, a six block, as well as an Energy Potion, which I'll take over the Explosive Potion. Might be slightly better. Okay, Gremlin Knob. Yeah, I have to be a little careful here. Um, let's do... I do have double damage soon. Let me do Flash of Steel. Hmm, that's not great. I wonder if I should keep the double damage for next turn. No, no, no. Anything I can meditate. I can meditate the Flash of Steel, right? Let's do Miracle... Then Foresight, Strike, I'll sort of waste the double damage here and then meditate the Flash of Steel, okay. I really need to enter Wrath next turn. Uh, I'll get rid of everything that doesn't allow me to do that. Maybe keep, the no, no, I'll get rid of everything. Ah, oh, come on, it's it's at the bottom, of course. Um, I can fully defend here by double defending, that way I'll still keep the, um, the buffer. And then Flash of Steel, I can't actually do that now because it might draw me the Eruption, right? So let's just do Strike and Swift Strike, okay. All right, so here I'll get the eruption. Maybe talk to the end. I'll keep it just to um, deal more damage. So let's do eruption. Talk to the hand. Flash of steel, and then okay. Luckily, I was able to kill there. We got question card. Future card awards have one additional card to choose from, as well as a strength potion. That's tempting. I mean, between the energy potion and the bottle miracle, um, I'll probably get rid of the uh, bottle miracle. Take a strength potion instead, and then let's take the third eye. I'm really worried about the upcoming boss fight. Okay, probably fine to gain strength here. Okay. All right, this is the tr uh, the second turn might be challenging, so I have to make sure. Of course, I draw all my good defensive cards in the first turn. Uh, let me see what the power potion gives me. Like water, yeah, that'll give me a little bit of block. Let's take that, and then let's do flash of steel. Yeah, let's do the bomb and then vigilance to enter calm. And let me do third eye just so I can curate my next hand. Get rid of the eruption and probably the meditate. Yeah, I really just need good defensive cards next turn. Okay. Actually, I guess with the oracalcum and the uh, like water, I should be fine. Actually, talk to the end is perfect here. Yeah, I can do talk to the hand and then double damage, strike, strike, swift strike. And I can play a defend. Perfect. So that way I'm not actually losing my buffer. Good. All right, six incoming. Um, yeah, with the Rakakum, I don't even have to defend it all, right? Let's do Worship and Foresight. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, wait, uh, he is attacking for 10. Yeah, I still don't need to defend. Uh, actually, I guess I can't even attack either, right? Because then I'll get the block return. Uh, should I just do the bomb? Yeah, let's do the bomb. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here, let's get rid of all of these. I was hoping. Wait, where's? Oh, the meditate is uh, the worship. Uh, what worship? Worship is my uh, discard pile, so I could grab it with the meditate, right? Um, yeah, no reason not to. I, I guess. Hang on. Do I want to do any attacks? Uh, there's no reason not to play a strike here. Let's do that, and then I think I'll meditate the um, worship. Yeah. Okay. All right, and then I'll I'll uh, hopefully get some good attacks here. Oh. Well, Eruption is fine. I can play it at the end. It's a little expensive, but it should be okay. All right, let's do worship, and then not the best hand here, unfortunately. Yeah, let's do eruption, and then uh, I guess might as well do vigilance. Ugh. Okay. Still need 62 damage. 
Uh, well, there's the bomb again. I do need some block here, right? Because I have 14 incoming. Okay, I didn't get any. This is a problem. So, wait. Um, so, if I don't play anything, I get 11. Minus 2 is 9. Uh, well, I have a buffer for that. If I do attack here, I'll get 4 plus 5 is 9, 7. Yeah, that works too. I do want to do the bomb here, though. So, let's just do that. Okay. All right, not happy that I don't have a buffer. So here I have eight incoming. I should be fine. Uh, although I do need to deal damage at some point or another. So let me get rid of these two. Okay. So I just need two attacks. Well, I can do Swift Strike and Patience. Regular Strike and then Vigilance. Okay, and then the, uh, the bomb will kill, right? 50 damage. Um, yeah, I think I should be fine, right? Okay, awesome. All right, perfected everything so far. We got a skill potion and... Okay, so the question is if I want to remove the bomb. It is pretty useful. On the other hand, if I get something like Ragnarok with the extra strength I get from Giria, that's pretty useful too. Same with Wish. But I'm not sure if I'll be able to... Well, this is tough. So yesterday, I think Rorpal went for Popper. Um, and then I think, uh, I think Red Force, yeah, he also went for Popper somewhat accidentally. Uh, sorry, other way around. He didn't go for Popper somewhat accidentally. I, this is a tough decision. Let me think about this. Okay, I think I'll, I'll go for the Ragnarok. Uh, mostly because I am worried that this deck currently doesn't have much damage. Doesn't have quick damage. Like, the bomb is the best damage I have and it takes three turns. Well, I have to draw it and then it takes three turns. Ragnarok would help with that problem. Let's take it. So I'm not going for the Popper modifier. All right, uh, here, probably don't want Velvet Choker. Between Philosopher's Stone and Coffee Dripper, Coffee Dripper is fine, right? Gain Andrea at the start of your turn. You can no longer rest at rest sites. Should be fine. I haven't needed to rest, and um, I get plenty of potions, so I think they should allow to uh, allow me to do this. All right, two, two lead paths. On the far left, I'll get, wow, just two question marks. On the right, I'll get one, two, early shop, three, four. Okay, that's not much better, but four question marks is better. All right, got the Lugan Looter and the Mugger here. Um, do I want to start with Eruption? Uh, yeah, I can do... I can do... Uh, I do have double damage in a second, right? Yeah, let's, let's do Eruption. And then I'll do the Miracle, talk to the hand, double damage, uh, Swift Strike for a kill. Good. And then I can... You know what? I'm not even going to exit Wrath, because I'm pretty sure I should be able to kill. Okay. And then here I can just do this and... Uh, wow, I thought that would be enough to kill, but no, it isn't. So I guess I'll do Defend, um, Foresight, and Meditate. And then next round I'll be able to kill. Okay. I do have to be a little careful. I can't just lose HP because I can't get it back. Got a Blessing of the Forge Potion, which I... Hmm. I like... Well, actually, I don't think I need an Energy Potion anymore. And then Warpaint, I'll pick up upgrade two random skills. That's a Defend and Third Eye upgraded. The Third Eye upgrade is nice. All right, Shell Parasite. Uh, yeah, see here, double damage, 42 will be 84, right? Um, and he has uh, 86. With the eruption, that's enough. Yeah, that's exactly why I wanted to take the Ragnarok. Yeah, perfect. We got Maw Bank uh, up on pickup. Whenever you climb a floor, gain 12 gold. No more works when you spend any gold at a shop. That's unfortunate because I have a gold, uh, shop coming up very soon. All right, Cultist and Chosen. Um, let's do... Swift Strike. I think I'll just do... Vig oh. If I do Vigilance... Oh. Uh, you know, fine. Let's do Vigilance Defend. And you know what? I will do the Worship. Okay. Alright, 6 incoming. Yeah, I think again I'll do Eruption Ragnarok. Uh, there it is. Oh, that was a double damage Ragnarok too. Nice. Got Pair. I'm bigger race to make sure be by 10. Good. Uh, and Explosive Push. I don't think I'll need... Yeah, I think I'll sacrifice the mobbing. I do want to... Well, okay, hang on. Let me look at what I get offered here. Probably don't need any of the relics here. Flash of Steel can't take a second one. Yeah, I do. I, I think I should take the cards. Battle him is pretty good. Uh, follow up is pretty good. Yeah, let's take it. Battle him, empty body, follow up. I'll take the windmill strike just because it might allow me to deal more than 100 damage at some point. So let's do that. Okay. Um, upgrade all strikes to defense or remove a card. Is there anything? Oh, I guess I could just remove basic strike, right? Yeah, I did just pick up a bunch of attack cards. So yeah, let's remove a basic strike. 
Oh, actually, you know what? Fine, let's upgrade all strength and defense. That might be slightly better. All right, let's gain more strength. Okay. Maybe I should. Well, I have energy. I don't think I need to upgrade the eruption anymore. Okay, I got the slavers. This one might be a little challenging. I do have the buffer and extra, uh, extra energy here. Um, let me see. I have a lot of good cards here. Let me do the strength potion. Then, um, can I get by without drinking the blessing of the forge? Let's do eruption. So that's 13, 26. Uh, so that's 39. Yeah, I need an explosive potion there. Can I fill it a fend? Um, hang on, let me see what this gives me. Meditate, Blasphemy, Simmering Fury. Blasphemy is not going to be enough, right? Simmering Fury might work. Yeah, but I do think I need to do this to be able to fill it a fend. All right, so let's do Eruption. Yeah, Eruption Strike. Might as well do Simmering Fury. Then I'll do Third Eye. Next round, I need a bunch of attacks, so I'll keep the follow-up, get rid of everything that's not an attack. Then, uh, Vigilance. I need 27, right? Okay, so I am fully defended here. Good. I'm not sure if having if I had to play all the, the potions, but it definitely... I, th I think it might have it might have been a good idea. Alright, so here... Okay, let's do Talk to the Hand. Then follow-up. And then Flash of Steel doesn't kill. Let's kill the backliner with it. Then a Strike... Uh, hang on, I do... Well, I have a buffer, but... Uh, okay, hang on. Let's do Swift Strike. That's slightly less than a regular Strike. Then a Strike. Then a Windmill Strike. And then Impatience, okay. Uh, and then Ragnarok. Alright, fine. Yep, was able to perfect this one too. We got Ink Bottle. One of you played 10 cards. Draw one card. As well as uh, I got my Blessing of the Forge back. Empty Fist is fine. Uh, I am thinking... Yeah, I wonder if I should take the Consecrate. I do have extra energy, but I don't have any AoE damage, right, currently? Except for the Bomb, I guess. Uh, let's go with the Consecrate, sure. Okay. And let's gain the last point of strength. All right. Okay. Here I got Dreamcatcher. Whenever you rest, you may add a card into your deck. That is, unfortunately, pretty useless if I have the uh, Coffee Dripper. All right, Gremlin Leader. Kind of want to enter um, Wrath here, but I do have double damage, so it seems like a little bit of a waste, but... I don't think there's a good alternative. So let's do Eruption Strike. Then um, I could do Worship Meditate the Worship. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's Worship and then Meditate that. I was going to Meditate the Eruption, but, you know, triple damage is better than double damage. Unfortunately, this guy is attacking. Is there any way I can defend here? 12, 20, plus the, uh, plus the buffer. That would be enough, right? So I do, I do need to play the Blessing of the Forge here. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do Blessing of the Forge, then Worship. Okay. Then I'll do Flash of Steel. Talk to the end is great. I can do Strike. Uh, yeah, I can just play everything, right? And we'll Strike, Vigilance, and Defend. Ah, I was actually not far off from being able to kill there. Yeah, fine. I'm losing my buffer. If I... If I Triggered the ink bottle before I played the uh, the vigilance. That would have been enough to kill, but it's fine. I still perfected. We got an anchor stage combo with ten block, as well as a colorless potion, and yeah, crescendo is fine. Protect is fine too. Why do I feel like actually, especially since I picked up the battle him, I feel like I have enough attack. So maybe let's fic uh, focus a little bit on defense. Wait, was that? Hang on. Did I have any extra elites through the deadly events modifier? Because I feel like I just fought three elites so far, right? Yeah, well, not three elites, sorry. I fought as many elites as there were. I didn't have any elites in question mark rooms, that's what I'm trying to say. All right, 16 incoming. Uh, let's do, I guess I could do worship. Let's do worship, then flash of steel, follow up. Okay, double damage. Uh, I could do a strike here. Yeah, why not? And then I would like to do the battle him as well as fully defense so I can still keep my buffer. Okay. Mm hmm all right, 16. Um, let's do... Hmm. I don't think I can kill this guy, right? Uh, let's do Smite, Consecrate. And kill the Backliner. That might not be a bad idea. And then... Oh, I would have to play two attacks, but I think that's fine. So let's do Strike... All right, wait, can I kill this guy? 25. No, no. Uh, let's do Strike, Windmill Strike. Okay. So I am fully defended here. 
And then can I deal 38 damage? Uh, I can deal way more than that. Good. Okay, we got Pentograph at the Cyberboss Combat Seal 25 3. That's a, that's a pretty good help. As well as a Gambler's Brew. Alright. Okay, Centurion and Mystic. Uh, Battle him is a great start. Let's do Flash of Steel follow up. Ragnarok. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I need a way to consistently enter Wrath. Um, well, a Crescendo would be nice. I think that's what I need. Let's do Eruption. Double damage. Uh, smite is a lot of damage, right? Actually, Consecrate is better. Good. Got a Centennial Puzzle. Uh, the first time we lose HP each combat, draw three cards, as well as a Fear Potion. Okay. Here I got Kunai. Every time I play three attacks in a single turn, gain one Dexterity. And here I got a regular fight, not an elite fight. Alright, let's do Talk to the Hand, Consecrate... Strike, Foresight, and that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, probably don't need so many defensive cards here. Uh, yeah, I think I'll do Eruption, because I think I should be able to kill that way. Let's do Eruption, Flash of Steel, and then play the Ragnarok. Okay. Alright, Courier. The merchant restricts cards, relics, and potions, and all prices that are reduced by 20%, as well as another Gambler's Brew. That, that's probably a little too much. And, uh, okay, should I finally upgrade something? You know what? Well, the Ragnarok is already upgraded. Uh, let's upgrade the Battle him. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having that in my opening hand. Okay. Alright. So, Collector. Let's see what you got. Alright, opening hand, uh, Ragnarok. I think, sadly, I don't have a way to enter Wrath here, right? Let's throw the Fear Potion. Then do Battle him. And I'm gonna see if I can trigger double damage here. Yeah, I think I can, right? Flash of Steel and Ragnarok for 27 times 6. That's a, that's a healthy amount. Okay. Let me also do Swift Strike and then play the Bomb. That will help with the minions. Now I just have to defend the next turn. Alright, so wait. Can I kill here? 22 plus 12 is 34. Uh, I guess it depends on what the Colorless Potion gives me. Hand of Greed. That's another 34. Yeah, I think I should be good here. If I do talk to the hand, then smite, and then hand of greed for a kill. Awesome. Alright, perfect this one. We got a regen potion. I'll save it for a little bit. And yeah, omniscience. This is sort of why I wanted to take rare cards, because I could have gotten omniscience, and I did get omniscience. So let's take that, and I should also try to get that upgraded as soon as I can. Uh, it's, it might be a little too late for a curse key, but there's a small chance I might get five curses. So I think I'll take it. Gain energy of your turn. Whenever you open an unboss chest, obtain a curse. Yeah, it is definitely possible, because with the um, Deadly Events modifier, I'm more likely to get treasure rooms. So, you know, a few normalities, a few curses. Might be hard to get unique curses, though. Alright, so two lead paths. I have to start on the left, and then after sort of this point, I can choose which way to go. So on the left, I'll get three question marks, four, four question marks before this path. And then after this path, if I go left, I'll get two. If I go right, then left, I'll get one plus a shop, and on the right side, I'll just get one. So yeah, I think I'll maximize question mark rooms, even if that means not hitting a shop. Although with Courier, let's get to that point, because with Courier, I might decide to go for a shop instead. All right, so here, let's do... Um, let me see what the battle him gives me. Foresight, I don't think that's necessary. Uh, I'll just do strike, follow up, and then Ragnarok, sure. Okay. Now, of course, getting an omniscience to double play the Ragnarok with double damage. That's gonna be it's gonna be huge. It's my final boss, by the way. Time Eater. Yeah, I had that yesterday. So this time, I think today I'll try to use the Pendip appropriately. This is the perfect time to use the bomb, actually, right? Against these enemies. I am taking a little bit. Uh, so let's do the bomb and then let me see. I, I guess the best thing to do is just defend as much as I can, right? Come. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'm still taking eleven damage. That's okay. Wait. How did I... Oh, I didn't realize I had lost my buffer already. Alright, fine. Um, I'll just need to defend here. Should I omniscient something? I could omniscient to defend, I guess. Seems to like a little overkill, but fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. At the end of this turn, 50 damage will kill everybody, right? Yep. Alright. We got Ceramic Fish. When they add a card into your deck, gain 9 gold. As well as a Swift Potion. A Swift Potion is nice. And, uh, I, hmm, I mean, I could skip a question mark room and go for the, uh, for the shop instead. I am seriously considering that because I do have courier, right? So I could get some nice cards, cards out of that. 
Yeah, I don't think I'll lose this much gold. 326 is a little too much to lose there. All right, here I can get curse number one. Oh, it is a wraith, but I guess that's okay. Okay. Or should I hit... Maybe I should hit the shop after... Yeah, I'm gonna avoid the shop here. I'm gonna potentially go for a shop here just in case I get a duplicate curse in the uh, in the treasure chest room there. All right, let's do battle him. I can do third eye. Uh, probably can be a little more offensive next turn. I'll keep the impatience though. And then let's do swift strike, a regular strike, and I'll keep double damage ready for next turn. I should have played vigilance. There's no reason not to. Uh, yeah, double damage Ragnarok is good. Got bronze skills, starish combo, three thorns, as well as a skill potion. I should have drank the... You know what? I don't think I need a regen potion. Let's take the skill potion instead. Okay. All right, Dark Links again. I, I just saw you guys two floors ago. Um, all right, let's do Eruption, a Ragnarok. A little risky, but I think that should be good. And then uh, I'll play the Battle Him as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, so here I can omniscience uh, what? I can omniscience uh, the worship. That will give me a bunch of energy and then 33 damage just from the consecrate. Yeah, should be good enough, right? Let's do that. Okay. All right, and then this does 33 and then I can kill you and you. Good. Got smile mask. The merchant's card room server now always costs 50 gold as well as a weakness potion. I don't think I'll take. All right, transient. So here I definitely want to do battle him. I most likely want to do talk to the hand and a regular strike. Okay. Yeah, Ragnarok makes my life easier here. Let's do that. Oh, uh, well, and then I have the energy to also play a um, worship. Okay. I guess I can get the worship back with a meditate or something. 50 incoming. Yeah, this is just, I think, going to be conventional attacks. Follow up, double damage. Okay. Uh, and yeah, let's get a worship back. All right. 16. Uh, let's do worship. And then I don't need much, right? Uh, oh, actually, yeah. See, if I had double damage active now, I would have been able to deal more than 100 damage already. Uh, but I guess I can keep the windmill strike for next turn. Let's do eruption. Okay. Might as well do consecrate. All right. And then ideally, I'll just play one attack so that the uh, Penipus... Oh, uh, hang on. Let's get rid of these two. That way I can omniscient something. Although, again, I don't think I need to omniscient anything. 66. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Is that going to be enough? You know what? I have the buffer too, right? Let's do that. That way I have two uh, attacks until the Penip gets triggered. Got Shuriken. Every time I play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. As well as a strength push, which I don't think I'll take. All right, Nemesis. 18 incoming. Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted because, hang on. So this would be 18 times 6, double. 36 times 6 is 180 something, yeah. So it's eruption, then double damage, Ragnarok. Now this is what I need against the time eater. We got Toxic Egg, one of you add a skill into deck upgraded. Essence of Steel might be slightly... Uh, yeah, I guess it's better than the skill potion. And then Wheel Kick, great attack card, should definitely take it. And then uh, after this point I have to decide. Got giant head. Okay, finally, a question mark room was in the lead in it. All right, 13. I do need to defend a little bit here. Let's do battle him, talk to the hand, follow up. Maybe I should upgrade that talk to the end. Uh, think about it. Actually, I can fully defend with the wheel kick. And then uh, let's do third eye just to curate the next hand. Uh, worship is not a bad idea. I'll remove all the defensive cards here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not getting attacked. That's good. Uh, let's do worship, and I'll definitely try to meditate that. Uh, yeah, actually, I can do eruption. Then flash of steel. Okay. Oof, too bad I can't do the Ragnarok. Oh, that's a shame. Ragnarok would have dealt a good amount of damage. Um, all right, let's just meditate the uh, the worship. Yeah, that's unfortunate because I might not have good attacks next turn. I do have 13 incoming. Yeah, worship is fine. Okay. Uh, so I have 8 energy, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, I can just play everything. So let's do the protect alone is enough. Well, might as well actually play everything, right? And then, wait, how did I calculate this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, I miscalculated. See, I didn't need to play the defend. Yeah, that's what happens when you miscalculate. At least I can deal more than 100 damage here, 168. That's pretty good. Okay, and let's do another miracle here to kill. Perfect. 
All right, we got Horn Cleat at the start of your second turn, gain 14 block, as well as a Strength Pusher, which I don't think I'll take. And I already have a Protect, Inner Peace, Fasting, Evaluate. Fasting is actually great here. I have so much energy, I don't need it uh, as often. We got Pain. Uh, that's an okay curse because I have Centennial Puzzle, as well as Bottle Lightning. I'm pick up to the skill, so I just come with this card in your hand. That probably should be the Omniscience, right? Okay, now if I can double, if I can somehow double play the... Double damage Ragnarok while in Wrath against the Time Eater. I should be fine. All right, so here's the question. Well, I guess I'm not sure if I need to go for the shop here. What are the odds of me being able to get three more curses? I think very slim. I only have two question marks. It's theoretically possible, but I don't think I'll risk it. Let's go for the shop. I can remove uh, one of the curses. Uh, let's also... Oh, this, this is a pretty good shop. Let's take a... Well, actually, I can only take the Carve Reality. I wouldn't mind taking the Flying Sleeves. Okay. Empty Fist. Did I ever pick that up? I don't think so. Yeah, I feel like it was offered to me twice. Let's do that. I already have this. I don't think I'll do Pressure Points. Um, oh, Entropic Brew is great. Uh, fine. Let's take it over the Gambler's Brew. And then I could take one stone up, pick up, up with two random attacks. Talk to the end and eruption upgrade is great. Let's take the blind. And um, I'll take the penny set just because I do want to remove another card. Uh, well, I want to remove the curse. Ideally, the wraith. Yeah, the pain can stay. I don't mind. Uh, but I do need... Um, yeah, let's take the penny Oh, actually, hang on. Okay, so I'm not going to take Penicea because there's a small chance I might get a curse. Or, uh, sorry, not a curse. A card out of this elite fight. Now that I'm going this way, I'll go on the right. That way I don't have a rest site. Um, so let's instead take the Strawberry because that'll give me enough max HP to get the uh, well-fed modifier, right? Yeah, perfect. Okay, good job. Can't complain about that. Now, it does mean that in this in this elite fight, I have to get a card. It can't be a duplicate and whatever it is, I have to take it to get to 35 cards. All right, uh, I don't think I can do double damage. Um, anything I can omniscient, anything useful? Uh, well, ex yeah, I can omniscience the uh, worship, right? Let's do that. Omniscience the worship. That'll allow me to deal triple damage with the Ragnarok, which is a pretty good start. Oh, actually, enough to kill. Awesome. We got Torian Thopter. One of you use a potion, heal 5 HP, as well as a fear potion. Which I Ooh. Okay, you know what? Let me take the fear potion of the Essence of Steel, and just the goal is to kill, to one-shot the Time Eater. It's definitely an achievable goal. Oh, come on, another shop. I don't have, I can't afford anything. Oh, well, that's that's disappointing. If I knew, if I think the RNG is right, that means that this question mark would have been a shop, so I could have avoided this shop here. Yeah, fine. Not much I can do now. All right, and then here. Uh, okay, wait. I still have another fight after this, right? So I can try to use my pen nib there. Um, so do I want to omniscient something? I guess there's no harm in omnisciencing the um, the Ragnarok. Okay. All right, and then Flash of Steel. Unfortunately, I do have to be defended next turn. Uh, let me do the... Well, I don't think I need Battle him here. Let's just do Empty Fist. Okay. I do have the uh, buffer in case he does a big attack. Yep, he is doing the big attack. So might as well do Eruption then, right? Yeah, let's do Eruption. I won't waste the double damage here. Let's do Third Eye and then just make sure I have some good attacks next turn. Okay. All right, there goes the buffer. Get rid of these two, and then the uh, flying sleeves kills. Good. Okay, blood vial at savage combat, heal two HP, and then a fair in the bottle, which I don't think I'll need. Yeah, I can't take the omniscience, but I can take the wish. That's pretty good. Now I can double play that if I want to, but um, again, the goal is to do to kill in the first turn. Um, so this is a long fight, so I think it should be fine to try to get the pendant to the right value. Uh, again, I think I'll. Uh, yeah, I think I'll omniscience the... Should I omniscience the wish? No, let's omniscience the Ragnarok. Hang on, so omniscience the Ragnarok is going to be 54 times 2. Yeah, okay, that's more than omniscience the bomb, right? Yeah, 54 times uh, 2 is 108. Rather than just 100. Okay, then follow up. And then I'll do battle him. Alright. Mm -hmm. Five incoming. Um, I ooh, I'll lose. Mm, if I play a card, I'll lose the the buffer from the pain. But fine, let's do the bomb, blind, and then I can still wish for gold. Fine. Okay. Can I kill in with only six attacks? Might be a little challenging. Uh, let's do worship. Uh, empty fist. Actually, uh, let me just 
Let's just do empty fist and consecrate. Okay. 28. Uh, all right. I think I'm going to try to cycle through the pendant then. Let's do carve reality. I'll do smite, smite, and then a double damage smite. Okay. Uh, I do need to defend here. I was not paying attention to the fact that I am going to take some damage. I don't think I'll do eruption here. Uh, yeah, let's just remove all of these. Okay. Ooh, I also totally forgot about the um, about the bomb. So that is a problem. Because now I have to play 10 attacks. Uh-oh. All right, well, let's do the small attacks. So Flash of Steel, Swift Strike. Yeah, no, I messed that up. I messed that up again. It's just like yesterday. Uh, that's a shame. All right, fine. I do have some good potions, so I hope they'll help. Got Art of War. If you do not play any attacks on your turn, get additional energy next turn, as well as a Gambler's Bread. I don't think I'll need. And, uh, well, anything I want to upgrade? Yeah, let's upgrade the Omniscience. Allows me to have some a little bit extra energy. Okay, so, yeah, double damage would have been better. At least I'm not getting attacked. Ooh, and I have an Eruption. That is tempting. Can I come up with, um, hang on, let's throw the Fear Potion. See what the Swift Potion gives me. I have eight cards. Hang on, let's do the Miracle first. All right, um, and then I'll do Foresight. Then the Swift Potion, then the Entropic Brew. Okay. Uh, I can upgrade everything, although a lot of things here is, are, are already upgraded. I don't think I can play six attacks, right? One, two, three. Yeah, no, I can't. Uh, is there any reason to wish for strength? That is a tempting idea. Um, it's definitely interesting. Huh. So, okay. I think what I'll do is let's do the Blessing of the Forge. Then I can do Vigilance, Empty Body to gain energy and also get the Ink Bottle a little better in a better spot. Uh, I do want to do Eruption at some point though, right? Hang on, if I do Wish and Omniscience, that'll only leave me with one energy. Which I think is fine. Yeah, I don't think I need more. That does mean I won't be able to play Vigilance. Fine, so this is what I'll do. I'll do Eruption. Uh, no, let me Wish for Strength first. Then do Eruption. Okay. Then I'm going to Omniscience the Ragnarok. Oh. Why was that so much damage? I'm confused. So I had seven extra strength. That means the Ragnarok was dealing 13 times six. And then double that with the um, with the fact that I was in Wrath. That's 26 times six, six. So that's 156. So 300 total. How did I get to 400? Oh, he's vulnerable. Okay, well, that, that was that was a really cool one-turn kill. I think I perfected everything, right? 1478, that's a really good score. So out of the eight possible leads, I perfected all of them, got Beyond Perfect, got Overkill, Stuff that was lucky in that... Uh, by, well, I, I got lucky by buying the Strawberry in the last shop. Uh, I did go for Highland, and I think that was the right idea. I don't think I saw any collector bonuses. Oh, look at that. I used Wish on uh, the fight before the last boss fight, right? And that gave me enough gold to get the money money modifier. That That is that is interesting. Okay, happy with that. And uh, yeah, other than that, the only thing I could have gotten... Actually, no, I don't think so. Combo wouldn't have really been feasible because I didn't see a single Flurry of Blows or Weave in this whole fight. And those are probably the main things that would allow me to go for the combo modifier. So I don't think that would have been feasible. Um, and then curses, I don't think I was, would have been offered many either. I only saw t two total, although I didn't maximize uh, question mark rooms fully. Uh, but still, I don't think I could have gotten much more than that. So overall, pretty good score. Yeah, look at that. I end up tenth. Now, surprisingly, um, actually no, I, I was gonna I was gonna make something up, but no, this is this is a pretty good score. Uh, Lord of Paper Towel, two points above me. Uh, he must have played while I was recording. Uh, I wonder what that means. That means that in one point where I went for either rest side or a question mark room, uh, Lord of Paper Towel decided to go for a regular fight instead. So maybe that indicates a different pathing. But uh, yeah, whatever whatever you did, um, that gave you two more points so your eighth place rather than rather than tenth so that's pretty good um and then i got 50 points above warpal i do wonder if that just uh getting lucky with an elite or um getting lucky with some of the relics like the uh stuff modifier or the money money modifier it could be small stuff like that but i'd be interested let me know in the comments i have to admit not sure how somebody can get much more than this so as i mentioned combo if you get really lucky uh, maybe popper um so that should have given you 15 uh what is that 
1553. Yeah, so fourth place is reasonable. Anything above that, that seems suspicious. I'd be interested to see how, how those people did it because, yeah, I can't, I can't think. I guess with Courier, you could go for um, some sort of um, collector bonus spree, but, uh, you know, there are not that many collector bonuses. Uh, well, there's not that much gold offered either. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you did. This was a really fun run for me. Thanks for watching. Bye.